nearest neighbors. My name is Ronak Vyas and this video is a collaboration with Programming Knowledge. To watch more videos on machine learning and programming, do subscribe to the channel. In this video, we will implement k nearest neighbors using the scikit-learn library. So, the k nearest neighbors algorithm is a type of supervised machine learning algorithm. KNN is extremely easy to implement in its most basic form and yet performs quite complex classification tasks. It is a non-parametric learning algorithm which means that it does not assume anything about the underlying data. This is an extremely useful feature since most of the real world data doesn't really follow any theoretical assumptions, for example, linear scalability or uniform distribution. Let's start implementing the KNN algorithm using scikit-learn now. We are going to use the famous iris dataset for our KNN example. The dataset consists of four attributes, sepal width, sepal length, petal width and petal length. These are the attributes of specific types of iris plant. The task is to pre predict the classes to which these plants belong. There are three classes in the dataset, Iris setosa, Iris versicolor and Iris virginica. Let's start the implementation by importing some libraries. So we need to import numpy as np, import matplot. lib.pyplot as plt and import pandas as pd for data handling. Now let's import the data set into a notebook and then into our pandas data frame. So here we have the URL from which we can access the data. The URL will also be in the description. The We assign some names to the columns of a data set and we read the data set into the pandas data frame. To see what the data set actually looks like, let's execute the following script dataset.head. And we can see the first five rows of our data set now. The next step is to split our data set into its attributes and labels. To do so, let's write the following script. So execute dataset.alloc dot values y is equal to the same thing but instead of minus one it's going to be four because it's the last column and let's fix this and we are good the x variable here contains the first four columns of the data set or the attributes while the y contain the labels to avoid overfitting, we will divide our dataset into training and test splits, which gives, our, which gives us a better idea as to how our algorithm performed during the testing phase. This way, our algorithm is tested on unseen data, as it would be in a production application. To create training and testing splits, let's execute the following script. So let's import the test train model from sklearn. find some variables so x test y train and y test is equal to test train split that's a very big function name x y and the test size is 0.2 or 20 percent let's wait for it to run so that we can see some so test train split cannot be imported. Let's see what the error is. No, so it's train test split, my bad. much more sense I get it now and we're good so now the above script splits the data set into 80% train data and 20% test data this means that out of total 150 records the training set will contain 120 records and the test set contains 30 of those records now before making any actual predictions it is always a good practice 
to scale the features so that all of them can be uniformly evaluated. The gradient descent algorithm, which is used in neural network training and other machine learning algorithms, also converges faster with normalized features. So let's write the script for normalization now. SKL learn pre processing import standard scalar and the scalar is equal to an object so standard scalar and let's fit it now or get a fit x underscore train and let's x train is equal to scalar dot transform x train and x underscore test is equal to scalar transform dot test and again I think I've made a mistake with the spellings pre-processing standard scalar I'm sorry yes now let's fit the KNN algorithm to the data set it is extremely straightforward to train the KNN algorithm and especially makes prediction out of it when using the scikit-learn library so let's import our model from scikit-learn so sklearn dot neighbors neighbors classifier and let me just make sure that the spelling is right now so that we don't have any more errors so k neighbors classifier and the classifier is equal to again the same name class and let's say we want five neighbors Let's fit the classifier now. Okay, fit not get for x train and y train. So the first step here was to import the k and n classifier class from the sklearn neighbors library. Uh, in the second line, we initialize the class with one parameter that is the n neighbors. This is basically the value for the k. There is no ideal value for k and it is selected after testing and evaluation. However, to start out, phi seems to be the most commonly used k and n algorithm. The final step is to make predictions on our test data. So y pred is equal to classifier dot predict for x test. Now let's evaluate the algorithm and see how good it performs. For evaluating an algorithm, Confusion matrix, precision recall, and F1 score are the most commonly used metrics. All of these can be found in the sklearn.metrics module. So from sklearn.metrics, import classification report confusion matrix. Let's print them now. So for y test and y predicted, and also print the confusion matrix to see the matrix. And the same parameters y test and y spread. And here we can see all the metrics which we need to evaluate our algorithm and how it performs. So this was a very basic implementation of k nearest neighbors. And after this, we can actually go on Kaggle and download a real life data set and actually perform and see how KNN performs on a real life data set. Thank you.